Hi, it's Josie, and today I want to talk to you about lengthening your horse's trot, how to do a lengthened trot. You have to have a horse that has done enough work that he has a balanced trot with a good metronome-like tempo. One, two, one, two. He doesn't um, lose his balance and go one, two, 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 one, two. That is a horse that needs, still needs work on the very basics of rhythm and tempo. But once he's got a good regular rhythm with a metronome-like tempo, you can go ahead and teach him to lengthen his trot. So lengthened trot is not a medium trot or an extended trot, okay? Lengthened trot is the beginning before the horse has done enough collection to actually do medium or extended trot. So lengthening trot is just the fact that the horse's body becomes a little bit longer and his trot stride becomes a little bit longer and he therefore covers more ground. The tempo should stay exactly the same when your horse does his lengthened trot. I personally had a lot of trouble with this because a lot of my horses would just run, 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 run and wouldn't lengthen and I had no idea of how to get him to lengthen. So we're gonna work a little bit through that today. When we get to asking the horse to lengthen, there is a little bit of preparation that you need to do before you ask him to lengthen. You need to build a little bit of energy within him to get him feeling a little bit like a wound up spring, they say, but he needs to be a little tiny bit compressed together so that when you let him go, and when you let him go, you don't let him go by giving him the reins. But what I'm talking about is you push him, push him, push him, push him together. And I'll, I'll go through this in a minute. And then when you're ready to do your lengthening, you go, okay then. And he should go off in a lengthened trot. The preparation is your job. And then the lengthening is the horse's job. What I found when I did mine, as I said, is my horses would just get faster and faster and faster and faster and I'd actually slow them down and go, no, that is not what I want. And then they'd go faster, 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 faster and then I would slow them down again. And so we never got to lengthening trot. What I've since learnt is that if you let them go a little bit faster, they will do one of two things and neither of them is a disaster, okay? They're in fact just the way the horse is going to learn they will either um, take a few longer steps because they've gone as fast as they can and then they just push a little bit and that's when you want to stop what you're doing and praise your horse and say good boy that's exactly what I wanted or the other thing they'll do is they'll lose their balance and fall on their forehand and then they will actually usually fall into canter and that's okay if they fall into canter. All you need to do is bring him back to the trot, but the minute he drops back into trot, in the first stride of trot, you need to send him forward again so that he can actually understand that no, it's not canter you want, and no, it's not that fast trot that you want, and he will then hopefully give you a couple of steps and you can praise him. My two horses both took one of those ways. Rebel actually found his lengthened stride for me. Spider has had a lot of difficulty getting lengthening and he was the one, he would always fall into canter um, because he actually found canter easier than he did doing his fast little trot and it took us quite some time to teach him that what I wanted was a couple of good pushing steps from behind, carrying and pushing through. So as I said, you need to prepare. So coming into the long side in a minute, I'm going to be adding energy to Rebel by asking him with a half halt, half halt, half halt. Here we go, sorry I can't talk. Listen, listen, listen. Adding energy, looking where I'm going, saying you do the length and trot. Good. Good boy. Now when you're doing this in the beginning with your horse, if he hasn't done this, one or two steps is enough. Put him away for the day and be thankful that you've got that. So I'm going to do it again. Good boy, Rebel. So as we come around the corner here, I'm adding half halt, whoops, half halt, half halt, listening, I don't think, I'm, hang on, yes, good boy. 
good. Good. Now I do it in rising trot because usually I'm teaching a younger horse this and if you watch me down the long side here I'll try and do it. What I do is in my up, there we go. He's almost lost his rhythm there. Did you see that? If not, go back and watch it. I pushed him too much. So instead of just rising here, I rise. Now he wants to, <laughs> he's anticipating the lengthening. So I'm going back to just not doing any. But when I hit the top of my rise, I grow a little taller and I pause for a split second and my legs say, go, 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 go. That's enough, good boy. I'll come around and I'll see if I can do one going away from the camera. You have to play with this, guys. It's really difficult, especially if you're teaching yourself, but if you don't have a go, you will never learn it. So here we go, half halt, half halt, half halt. Bigger, 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 good boy. Whoops, he's nearly losing his balance. Good boy. And that's what happened at the end of the long side there. Rebel did lose his balance and almost cantered. So we'll try it down here. Half halt, half halt, I've slowed him right down. Rise, 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 rise. So I use my rise to ask him to do a bigger, bigger, bigger. It comes from my core. See if I can show that on the circle line. Here we go. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Whoops, didn't get anything there. There we go. Steady. When you're doing your lengthenings like this, you need to have a really nice contact with your horse's mouth. And the one thing you don't want to do when he's lengthening, because you will get a little more um, contact in your hand, is I'm not going to do it to him, I just slow him down here, is drop the contact on him. You don't want to throw your reins at him to let him make a bigger trot because I'm telling you now he will fall straight on his forehand if you do that. And eventually the horses begin to trust the contact and trust that you're going to be there. And if he stumbles within that lengthening, as a rider with a good core and good balance, I actually help him to find his balance again and not lose his confidence. So if you throw the reins at your horse and he stumbles and falls forward, he's gonna lose all confidence in going forwards. So that's just a quick little look at how to get your horse to lengthen in the trot. I hope that helps you some. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'd love to answer them for you if I can. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching, guys. See you later.